Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new product presentation description uh, for today we're gonna have a look at the one of the hottest product of TBS we are talking about the TBS 6004 DVB-C cable for QIM PCI Express card the TBS 6004 is a DVB-C cable uh, for QAM modulator actually it is uh, a signal generator which can use as uh, input different sources such as uh, DVB S2, S uh, or DVB T2 or T or ISBT or ATSC and even IPTV resources as input as source as output it will uh, broadcast to the uh, DVB-C to the coax network um, it will uh, broadcast in RF frequency the frequency range as you can see here on the card uh, specifications uh, it's uh, 100 to 1000 megahertz symbol rate is 2000 to 7200 uh, kilo symbols it's a small um, uh, mistake here uh, Channel bandwidth is 8 megahertz. Uh, the level of the signal can be between 5 and 120, and uh, FAC or uh, the, the standard of the um, DVB-C, uh, 16 QAM, 32 QAM, 64 QAM, uh, 128 QAM, and 256 QAM. The maximum bit rate it's uh, which can uh, work this. Uh, um, modulator this uh, qm modulator is uh, 53 mbps per channel um, for the today uh, test uh, we're gonna use of course uh, one of our uh, top professional software uh, we are talking here about kylon of course the modulator is coming with some um, self built by uh, tbs uh, software plain and simple uh, software not so uh, complex as um, the Kylon environment so as you can see here in the picture I don't, didn't install because uh, I would like to test it with Kylon Kylon offers uh, a lot more uh, features but once you buy the card you will receive with the, the card the installation uh, disk and uh, on the disk you will find this uh, piece of software which is uh, coming with the uh, with the card uh, it allows you to use uh, as configured input source uh, TBS adapters DVB-S2 card supported at this moment some network TS yes HTTP UDP RTP supported local file SPTS uh, uh, and these uh, two video format MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, H.264 or MPEG-4, H.265 audio format as you can see them right here I will not insist too much about the software because this is uh, uh, free software it's coming with the, with the modulator is included in the price of the modulator and I'm gonna proceed further um, as I told you uh, this modulator is capable of using IP source so for IP source we have used the brand new uh, extreme codes uh, version 3 um, courtesy from uh, uh, the extreme codes uh, team yeah thank you very much to Chris and uh, Theo for this so we have uh, prepared a couple of uh, testing streams for uh, just for this video and uh, we're gonna fed these streams from remote uh, from a very long distance from remote inside the Kylon system and uh, we're gonna load them with the modulator and modulate the signal to the DVB-C uh, coax network in this case okay I'm gonna proceed to the next step uh, the Kylon environment the Kylon environment some of you uh, especially subscribers they are quite um how to explain uh, they know already the um, this uh, environment is a very uh, rich in features uh, environment as you can see we will have one tuner card uh, one dvb card which is connected to some random uh, 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 cable operator 
yeah it can be also satellite operator the card as i told you the card is a um, multi-standard card we use the tbs 6504 multi-standard card so you can use uh, s2 s2 x dvt t2 uh, c c2 uh, uh, you can use to prepare the channels and fed them to the mux them and fed them into the kylon Okay, well, I'm gonna proceed. The second input source uh, is gonna be HTTP live playlist, which is coming as I uh, explained before from uh, a link from uh, uh, how it's called um, Extreme Code server. And of course, I'm gonna go to the preparations of the streams. We are gonna prepare the streams, as I told you, we already prepared the streams uh, and multiplex them, uh, mux them in uh, two DVB and two IP uh, frequencies. We prepare them for two DVB and for two uh, uh, IP source uh, as uh, uh, MOX, MOXes. So uh, to prepare them, uh, w once you start, send the channels into the, um, uh, uh, from source into the Kylone, yeah? Uh, you're gonna find them uh, very simple. All you have to do is just new record, yeah? and fill in all the um, details here, the name and the display name and stuff like this. And you're gonna find them right here. Yeah, they are already uh, arriving and they are uh, identified by Kylone and you can add them into the, select them e even either all, ev either one by one, uh, as many as you wish. You have to be careful because um, as I told you, <coughs> Uh, the modulator can do only 52 mbps per uh, channel so actually we already as i told you i added a couple of uh, streams uh, these are from uh, dvb as source uh, for uh, a mox one for mox two i added also from dvb i combined in the first mox some uh, sd streams with some uh, uh, hd for the second MOX, I put only SD streams. And for uh, MOX 3 and 4, I have used uh, channels with uh, and streams which are coming from the remote uh, Extreme Codes server. So uh, both MOXs have a remote IP uh, server as a source. Okay, let's proceed further. O further. O once the MOX is prepared, all we have to do, just go to the modulator one of the most beloved feature of the Kylone is uh, already once you install into a machine with uh, um, uh, TBS hardware, automatically the, uh, the hardware is uh, recognized. Automatically the drivers is in, are installed. All you have to do is just uh, at the first install, just go to the uh, modulators or your uh, uh, tuner cards hit refresh or hit scan and they will appear right here for example the, the modulator will appear at the modulator tab the tuner cards will appear at the tuner cards tab so once you have them yeah you can uh, do the scanning uh, of the tuners or you can do for example in our case uh, um, the configuration of the modulator we already configured the moxes so uh, we will take as starting frequency for the very first uh, uh, output frequency the 474000 uh, zero, 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 uh, frequency yeah the symbol rate as usual on cable uh, networks uh, 6900 uh, we can set the power of the signal uh, from minus 10 till uh, uh, plus 10 yeah uh, the dbm and of course we can select the level uh, yeah the level of the signal and we can select the uh, qim uh, which we want to use to um, broadcast our channels in this case i have selected the qim 64 uh, uh, output as you can see here the mpts is uh, already set uh, we select each moxes yeah and uh, add them to the uh, each configuration each uh, frequency so we used because we started with the uh, four seven uh, four uh, hundred thousand yeah we added to the first frequency the dvbc zero which is uh, one of the dvb source for uh, uh, eight two 
for the frequency 482, we added the second dVB. For the frequency uh, 490, we added uh, the um, source from um, extreme codes from remote IP server. And of course, for the fourth one, uh, we added the 498 uh, frequency and also uh, added some uh, mocks from a remote location, meaning from extreme codes um, server, IP, uh, IPTV server, uh, remote IP stream from remote location. We will save once everything is in place and set. All we have to do is just go to the big magic commit button right here, and we're gonna hit uh, re uh, tick the restart media server, restart STB, and press the big commit button. You will need to wait for like uh, 30 seconds, maybe one minute, and then you go to the status and the magic it will show. What does it mean, the magic? It means that you will see here everything. Meaning, first you can see the transponders, uh, in the first uh, rows, you will see the uh, DVB uh, source. In the second row, you will see rows. You will see the um, HTTP remote live streams, which are feeding inside the Kylone. You will see the multiplexers, yeah, right here, yeah. So the multiplexers, the source, and uh, everything combined for uh, sending them to the uh, modulator, yeah. And uh, lastly, but not the last the DVB-C6004 uh, modulator in action. Actually, you can see right here where my mouse is uh, hovering, uh, the frequency, the symbol rate, yeah, the node one of the modulator. Uh, you can see the modulation, the bit rate, and the throughput, how much uh, bandwidth the channels are uh, taking. Of course, if you hover the mouse near the um, multiplexes, yeah, multiplexers, you can see uh, the source channels as well with uh, uh, values, with PIDs, video and audio PIDs, and all the informations you needed. So basically, already it's plug and play and already working. As you can see, it's very simple. It's not very easy. It doesn't need console or uh, Linux stuff. All you have to do is just uh, uh, carefully study the web UI of the Kylone and uh, have a look at my movies. Hit the like if you like them, hit the dislike if you don't like them, of course, and uh, start your own uh, uh, business if you are a small operator, for example, uh, you are a small ISP internet provider and you wish to provide alongside with the internet some uh, television on the uh, on the optical fiber, GPON uh, networks. Yeah, this is the perfect tool. Uh, the, this uh, modulator is the perfect tool. Uh, we have uh, made this modulator for the professional uh, market, but not only for professional market, we have made the modulator for everyone who wants to uh, start such business, such kind of uh, solutions. Uh, the solution can be used also in hospitals, in uh, clinics, medical clinics, and in uh, vacation estates and things like this. Multiple room setup and uh, all kind of other applications. In the description of the video, you will find the links to the study, to the, um, to, for which we used, to the hardware which we used and the software which we used for uh, this uh, small description and uh, small description of the features of the um, Kylone uh, media system and of the TBS6004 DVC, DVBC modulator. Uh, in the second part of the movie, we're going to show you also a uh, client connection. We're going to connect a uh, signal finder, signal uh, analyzer, uh, small device to see the values and the uh, capabilities of this uh, modulator. See you next time. Thank you very, very much for watching and hearing me. Bye-bye.